Well, Flash is, is probably one of the most transformative and, and most important technologies that's been introduced to the, uh, the storage market probably uh, over the last decade or so. And, and what's, what, why Flash is important is you have to take a step back and look at some of the, the componentry that make up a, a storage device. And one is the, uh, the microprocessors that have been uh, following Moore's law um, for, for years and years of, of seeing you know, doubling of performance every 18 months. On the other side, if you look at disk drives, spinning mechanical disk drives, clearly because of the mechanical nature of those, they haven't been able to keep up. And so what we've ended up with is what we, we call an I.O. gap, and that's uh, the performance of our microprocessors and the ability of, of disk drives to deliver I.O. to satisfy those requests. And this is where Flash comes in, right? So Flash is, uh, again, a significant technology that allows you to kind of bridge that I.O. gap between spinning mechanical disk drives and microprocessors. And that's why EMC uh, sees this technology as so important to its business. And, and we, we introduced it uh, several years ago in our VMAX platform. And, and today you see us uh, using this technology uh, across the portfolio uh, as, as mainline storage devices uh, in our storage arrays, uh, we use it as caching technologies. Uh, we use it to hold temp files and indices on some of our other platforms in a more surgical way. But we're seeing Flash as a transformative enabling technology to bridge this I.O. gap and really deliver the performance that our customers are demanding and needing today in today's demanding IT environment. You know, what, what's interesting for me is uh, being in the memory business for, for so long is, is uh, is seeing the market evolve in the utilization of, of flash technology and specifically solid state drives. Uh, what's, what's been interesting to watch is the, the transformation of the industry in terms of understanding the fundamental value proposition, I think, as Mark described. Um, it, it took a while for the industry to understand things like dollars per IOP versus dollars per gigabit or gigabyte. And I think once that, uh, that understanding in terms of the total cost of ownership of using a solid state uh, drive uh, in various applications, the momentum uh, began and I would argue is really in the early stages of, uh, of, of ramping the industry uh, in terms of solid state storage. What's also interesting for me is when we get into conversations about uh, not only just the total cost of ownership, but things like uh, reliability of solid state drives versus hard drives and, and power uh, numbers in terms of the power savings that a, that a hard drive can save, which ultimately uh, translates into total cost of ownership. Uh, what's interesting as well is to see the diversification of SSD usages. I think as Mark mentioned, uh, we're seeing uh, usages ranging from boot drives to really high performance uh, uh, computing that are using them as caches to reduce the I.O. bottlenecks. And so uh, it's, it's pretty exciting to be in the uh, flash memory business and uh, be working with a partner like EMC on storage.